Tonight, the U.S. Senate has completed its investigation of the Wounded Warrior Project. The Senate probe began after a series of reports on the CBS Evening News questioned how much of the donations were actually going to wounded vets. Chip Reed has this. Last year, we met Eric Millette, one of dozens of former employees who shared with CBS News concerns about the charity's spending and programs for veterans. We're using our injuries, our darkest days, our hardships to make money so you can have these big parties. Senator Chuck Grassley led an inquiry into the allegations. You want to make sure that people that contribute money, that it's used for what it was meant to be used for. The charity had said it spent 80 cents of each donor dollar on programs for veterans, but Grassley says that included donated media, advertisements, and educational fundraising solicitations to reach that number. And Grassley's nearly 500-page report to the Senate Judiciary and Finance Committees found Wounded Warrior Project was spending only about 68 percent of donor dollars on programs for veterans. It also found the charity lacked sufficient policies and procedures to manage the organization, misled donors about more than $65 million placed in a long-term trust that had not yet been spent on veterans, and spent excessive amounts of money on travel, as well as on fundraising and staff events. CEO Stephen Nardizzi was fired last year along with nearly the entire executive suite of the charity. I think it, uh, it's going to help in the long run to deliver exactly what uh, the program ought to do for veterans. In a statement, Wounded Warrior Project said it follows accounting rules and IRS requirements and has, quote, made significant changes to ensure that we are focused on running the most efficient, effective organization possible. Scott, it also says it updated its travel and expense policies and adjusted its programs and services to focus on mental health and long-term support. Chip Reed, thanks.